Hello everyone, Apollo is my co-pilot here, bringing you Let's Play The Journey Down Chapter 3. That's right, it's finally time. So, uh, for those who are unaware, this is a direct continuation of the story from Chapters 1 and 2. So if you are unfamiliar with those, I strongly recommend checking them out first. Because otherwise stuff probably won't make much sense. Anyway, uh, at the end of Chapter 2, we left off with Juana, Quito, and Lena finally gaining access to the Underland, which was like a huge cliffhanger. So I'm pretty excited to find out what happens next. Um, I don't think I really need to mess with much in the settings, so let's just go ahead and hop into a new game. Well, maybe not so nice all the time. <laughs> oh, it's like the Lion King. It's still like the Lion King. How much time is passing? <laughs> All righty. Man. Hey, hold up, guys. I think I found something. I believe this monolith marks the entrance to an ancient Thauri shrine. What's a Thauri? The Thauri were mythical beings, described in the oldest Underland folktales. Archaeologists believe they were ancestral deities of the Underland. Let's see what else there is to discover on this mural. Alright, let's do that. Am, am I discovering stuff? Alright, so this is the deity. So who is the big guy? I believe that figure symbolizes one of the Thari. I can't tell which one it is, but judging from what I can see, I presume he was very... Popular? Well, yes, possibly. Okay. We got a popular deity. Anything else? A tree. That kinda looks like a tree. Yes, I think you're right. I believe it is the Great Asili Tree. Cool! So, what's that? <laughs> Good According question. to the ancient scripture, the Great Asili Tree was planted at the center of the Valley of Roots in the early days of the universe. It is believed to carry the world among its many branches, holding up everything above the mist. It was said that the roots of the Asili Tree contained an ancient mystical power, a power so great that it could bring the dead back to life. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> He's thinking the same thing. All right, I forget. Hold on. Uh, save game, load game, settings. Never mind. Does this have like a hotspot highlighter? No, I guess this game doesn't. Okay. No problem. Okay, so we got the tree, we got the deity. Anything else? I don't really see any more hotspots. So I guess that's it. If we could just remove some of the vines, I should be able to decipher the runes with the help of Kanan Dodo's book. Good idea! What you need? Well, I think Kito has the machete, but where did he go? That's a good question. <laughs> hey, Buona! Shake these out! I'll be right there, buddy! Okay, so he went into the giant creepy skull. Always good. Vines are impossible to pull off with my bare hands. All right. Oh, okay. Man, these vines are crazy strong. <laughs> journal. It's the journal of the journey down. That old book has really been through a lot. I'll say. Where are we now? 
were in the caves of Kueiromoshi, some 200 miles from the Hatari Reef. According to the maps, these caves are the only passage that can take us through to the Marushaka River. It is only thanks to your father, Captain Kaunin Dodo, and the incredible book he left behind, that we can navigate through the Underland. Good thing he wrote down all those notes during his early expedition. Yes. Without his book, we'd be completely lost down here, and it'd be impossible to decipher these ancient writings. Somehow, I'm certain that the Journal of the Journey Down has got something to do with Kaunin Dodo's disappearance. There must be something of incredible value hidden within the pages of this book. Why else would the power company go to such great lengths to find it? Well, maybe it's the tree that can bring people back to life. I mean, it's a pretty big deal. Okay, so we have some deities here. Maybe she'll tell me about them. So, who are all those little guys? The Thari were revered spirits of the Underland, often depicted in human or animal form. Together, they maintained the balance of nature and guided the living and ancestral spirits through life. I spent countless hours studying these legends back at the university in Saint Armando. That there is Oganon, the tiger form predator Thori, who was believed to bring good fortune in hunting. Okay, Oganon. I'm so glad she knows all this stuff. We would be lost without her. Alright, what about the elephant? There's Log Asha, the Thori of storms. Worshipped for protection from hurricanes and floods. Okay. The fish? That is Marushaka, the Thori of the Marushaka River, said to rule all living things in the water. Okay, and the eagle? That is our Kwan, the great eagle Thori, king of everything that flies and protector of the underland. Alright. Anything else we can do with the book? Can I look at some more pages? Probably not. Doesn't really look like it. Okay. It's in the backpack. Ouch! <laughs> Whoops! I forgot I put the cacti in there. <laughs> I told you that was a bad idea. <laughs> cacti rule! Oh, okay. Well, I guess now he put it in his pocket, because that's a much better idea. Anything else? Hmm. I can't find a machete anywhere. I think I saw Kito using the machete last. Why don't you go ask him? Okay. I will. I will after I'm done poking around here. Is he just gonna say the same thing? Hey! Hey! Who ate all the yummy berries? Lena? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> I think we know. We salvaged some pretty good stuff from the plane after it crashed. And then we lost most of it when you sank the boat. Yeah, but I saved the cacti. Very important. We salvaged some pretty- All right, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Okay, anything else we can play with around here? A skull. Oh, that's one brutal skull, man. Oh. All right, that's all he's got to say about that. Um. All right. Well, I guess we're going inside. Oh, and be careful. If the caves ahead have been used for sacrifice to the Thori, the sacred chamber is probably well guarded. By what? The journal specifically mentions traps and a complex series of. Okay, Kevin. Gotcha. No, let her finish. Traps and what? What the heck is he doing? How'd you get up there, man? <laughs> That's a good question. I can see straight up to the clouds from here. I wish we had some wings. We could fly right out. I can see. All right, that's it for that. So we got a crate. That fungi. Let's check out the crate, I guess. Hmm, must be remnants from some old expedition. I wonder if Count Andordo was here. Oh man, it's empty. That sucks. Whoever made this expedition, they're long gone now. I wonder if they found what they were looking for. Good question. Fungi. Ooh, glowy mushrooms. Looks like they're somehow living off of the hot air coming from below. Interesting. These mushrooms must be full of hot air. Alright, that's pretty cool. Okay, 
way Kito is being ridiculous. Hey, Kito! I need that machete! Come down from there! <laughs> no way, Mon! Check it out! I'm flying! Dude, not the time! Get down here, Kito! I wanna try! <laughs> <laughs> Just a little longer! I'm getting pretty good at this! Oh my goodness. I got to find a way to get him down from there. Okay, well, what do we have? We just got the cactus. What do I do? Pop the... Uh, I love my old cacti. Uh, uh, how I... do I... Oh, here we go. Just click and drag. Can I just pop it? And just ruin his fun? Time to come down from there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> I knew the cacti would come in handy one day. You okay, man? <laughs> Not the scratch. Good. Good. You still got the machete? Sure, Moon. All right. Thanks, Kito. What's this door? There's a gate. Hey, what's this? Try it, Moon. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe it opens a door or something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's some kind of booby trap, man. <laughs> you cheeky, Buana? Something tells me I'm gonna regret this. Oh no, please don't die. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Woo, that was close. Oh, check this out, Keto. Wait, wait. Maybe we should go get Lena first. She's the brains of this operation. Whoops. Wow, this place is crazy, man. All right, well, uh, I guess we're messing around in here for a bit. It's a pedestal. Looks like there used to be some kind of artifact on this pedestal. Okay. But whoever came here ahead of us must have taken it with them. It's probably another booby trap. Your chicken? Oh, come on, man. I'm not cheeking. Come on, press it. No. What you crazy moon? Chicken. No. <laughs> chicken, 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 chicken. <gasps> oh no. Oops. <laughs> oh my god. What did you guys do? Yeah, except we're stuck uh, now. all the hair off my head. Man, you haven't had hair since we were kids. <laughs> I think I better just lay low for a while anyways. That was a pretty close call, Mon. Well, at least they're happy. <laughs> One more time. Uh, maybe not. Oh my god, it actually went again. <laughs> okay, maybe I should stop pressing this button. <laughs> Alright, let's let's not do that anymore. Hey, you doing okay, Kito? <laughs> All good here, Buana. Alright, good. Just a little short from the fire, but doing good. Okay, good. I'm I'm glad you're so positive. You cool, Kito? Yeah, I'm alright, Moon. Okay. This big statue is giving me some serious creeps though. I'm ready to get out of here whenever you are. Working on it, man. All right, let's see what else we got. Just the statue. Hmm, I wonder if that's one of those towering gods that Lena was talking about. Hmm, I wonder if- Maybe it's, is it the one from the, from the monolith? It might be. Let's go back. Oh, she's gonna be pissed, and I don't blame her. Hey, Lena! Guess what I found? I'm guessing a booby trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! How'd you know? You just destroyed the only way back to the mountainside. 
And I think the entire cave is collapsing into the lava stream. Great. We need to find another way out. Good idea. Kito and I will figure something out. Okay, but first, let's chop up the vines so we can take a better look. Make way for Buana's archaeological adventures! Hooray! It... it can't be! Can't be what? This must be the tomb of Niakazo! Who? Niakazo. According to myth, he was an immensely powerful authority king whose evil reign drained the underland of all life. Oh no. Even causing the great Asili tree to wither. Okay. What does that mean for us? What was Niakazo up to anyways? According to underland mythology, Niakazo was a tyrant who ruled the world for a thousand years. But some scholars believe that Niakazo may have actually been a metaphor for some sort of natural disaster. Or maybe an ancient plague. Yeah, that's definitely the statue in the other room. What was Niakazo oh, blah, 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 blah. That kinda looks like a tree. Is it? Yes, I, I think, believe so. Okay, they're just gonna Accord repeat the that. It was a blah, 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 blah. Okay, anything else then? I guess not. I believe this monolith is some sort of warning. A warning left for us. Oh, maybe we should have read it before we went inside. Well, there's no point looking back now. We have to find another way out of here. Don't worry, Lena. I'm working on it. Great. All right. Okay, so I guess we probably want to reach that staircase that he says he cannot reach. Okie dokes. All right, might as well save. That's easy. Okay, so we probably want to get up here. Can we use the, the mushrooms? Like, jump on them? These mushrooms must... Could I cut one down? Nah, no need to cut any more of them down. Okay, I guess that's not the answer then. Um, chop up the crate. Man, that ain't gonna work. Okay. Deflated fungus. Oh, I didn't even notice that that was there. Oh, it's still all nice and warm from the hot air. Okay. I wonder if we could, uh, we do something with the fire. Can I, like, put I can't it? reach it from here. Okay. Man, that ain't gonna work. Maybe let's put it on the crate. Can I do that? Hmm. If I had some rope, I bet I could tie these together. Ah, okay, can I go get those vines that I cut? Will that work? Does that qualify as rope? <laughs> vines. Ah, these vines might come in handy. Okay. Okay, so let's do... Good idea, but what should I tie it to? I would like you to tie it to this. Hmm, if I had some rope, I bet I could tie these together. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. I guess we start with the vines then. I'll just tie the vines to the crate here. Okay, and now I'll do this. Whoops. I'll tie the fungus to the vines over the hole. Um, ah, fits perfectly! Alright, now let's pump some hot air into this baby! Okay, so now I guess we go and press the button again. And we can make a, like a makeshift hot air balloon. Time to get ready for takeoff! <laughs> what you talking about? We're about to find <laughs> out. Just watch this! It's working, man! It's working! Yay! <laughs> well, I guess you were right. You really can count on Buana's charters. Alright! Hooray! Woohoo! Wow! That has got to be the Great Asili Tree! But what's going on here? That's a good question. The 
Mondo Mondo Power Company. They're destroying the Underland Man. It's us! How do we not die in this situation? <laughs>